वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फाइव डैश थर्टीन सो स्टेटमेंट इज इज इफ द ट्यूबुलर शॉफ्ट इज मेड फ्रॉम मटीरियल हैविंग एलोएबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज एटी फाइव मेगा पासकल डिटरमाइन द रिक्वायर्ड मिनिमम वाल थिकनेस ऑफ द शॉफ्ट टू द नियरेस्ट मिलीमीटर द शॉफ्ट हैज एन आउटर डाई मीटर ऑफ वन फिफ्टी मिलीमीटर नाउ यू कैन सी दैट दिस शॉफ्ट इज गिवन एज ट्यूबुलर शॉफ्ट ऑल द लोडिंग्स हैव बीन मैंशन एट दीज गेयर्स सो यू हैव Uh, been given that this shaft is made of material having allowable shearing stresses 85 megapascal and outside diameter is 150 mm so what you have to find is required minimum wall thickness of the shaft t so let's start with the solution so we will first find the torque in shaft ab torque in shaft bc and in torque in shaft cd for that we will define the internal loading so i will write as internal loading how we will do that again i have done it in problem 5-13 so first you will take you will cut it from here and you will draw the free for segment ab for segment ab you have to draw the free body diagram so let if this is your uh, gear so this is your shaft clear so torque on this gear is given as 15 kilo newton into meter so in order to keep it in balance you are uh, uh, applied torque t in segment ab will be also equal to 15 kilo newton into meter for segment segment bc so you have to cut the shaft over here and you have to draw the free body diagram so i am going to draw it so this is your first shaft this is your shaft ab and then you have another gear at this and there is a shaft which is represented like this and this shaft is your bc so this is your a again you have a 50 15 kilo newton into meter at this is your b where you have a torque of 30 kilo newton into meter so total is 45 so in order to keep it in equilibrium so we will have tbc will be equal to 45 kilo newton into meter now for segment cd so what i have to cut it from here and i will show you the internal loading so this is your gear d so you can see that you have a 30 kilo newton into meter in clockwise direction so for bringing it into equilibrium you must have tcd is equal to 30 kilo newton into meter now you can see tab is 15 kilo newton tbc is 45 and tcd is 30 kilo newton so what we will do is that you can see that segment bc is critical why because the maximum share uh, torque is applied is 45 kilo newton clear uh, critical since it is subjected to subjected to greatest internal torque now we will use this greatest torque and we will find this diameter of uh, uh, thickness of this hollow shaft so we know that allowable shearing stress is equal to tbc into c divided by j we do not know j j for hollow section is equal to pi by 2 into c outer square c outer power 4 minus c inner c outer means radius of outer outer radius and ci is inner radius so you have only outer radius so pi by 
सी आउटर इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फाइव पावर फोर वाइल वी डू नॉट नो सी इनर सो इन सी इनर पावर फोर दिस इज फोर सो यू कैन जस्ट पुट द वैल्यू वी हैव अलाउेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस दैट इज गिवन एज एटी फाइव मेगा पास का सोटी फाइव इंटू टेन एस्ट पावर सिक्स इज इक्वल टू टी बी सी इज फोर्टी फाइव इंटू टेन एस्ट पावर थ्री क्लियर दिस सी इज द आउटर आर मैक्सिमम सो इट विल बी सी आउटर सो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फाइव मीटर डिवाइड बाई पाई बाई टू इन टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फाइव पावर फोर माइनस सी आई पावर फोर नाउ इट्स वेरी ईजी यू कैन जस्ट सॉल्व इट यूजिंग यूर साइंटिफिक कैलकुलेटर एंड वेन यू सॉल्व इट यू विल गेट सी आई आर इनर रेडियस विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव जीरो डबल टू और इन डबल टू मीटर और यू कैन सी सी आई इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी पॉइंट टू मिली मीटर नाउ यू हैव सी आउटर एंड सी इनर सो यू कैन फाइंड द थिकनेस सो यू कैन सी दैट इफ यू हैव अ सर्कुलर ट्यूब हैविंग आउट हैविंग दैट दिस इज द सेंटर सो दिस इज सी नॉट एंड दिस इज यूअर सी आई so we can say that c not is equal to ci plus thickness t and this is your thickness t so c outer is equal to ci plus t so from here you will get t is equal to c not minus ci so c not is 75 mm minus ci is 50. Two millimeter, so you will get thickness will be equal to twenty four point seven eight millimeter, and closest to uh, millimeter we will take it as twenty five millimeter. So this is the answer of our uh, this question. Five point thirteen. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. And those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest videos. Thank you for watching.